Hello everybody and welcome to the Minecraft Disney Q&A. This is the series in which you throw questions all manner of Disney related to me and I try to answer them to the best of my ability. Today's question comes from B Fish Alex Imagineering and it's actually a multi-part question so let's just jump into, I'll list them all off and then I'll jump into the answers. Hi Rob, I have another few questions this week. Uh, what do you think would be different in Walt Disney World if Walt Disney had passed just after the purchase of the Florida Project and had no input whatsoever to the park? Two, I was recently in Disney World and happened to be there during a WDW radio meetup with Lou Mangiello. Would you ever schedule a trip that lined up with the meetup? Or if it happened to be at the same time you're there, like mine, would you take the time to go? He's a very nice person, by the way. Uh, three, when you get a magic band, what color would it be? Sorry for the long questions. Thanks and have a magical day. Well, thank you for the questions. So uh, let's go into them. Let's go with the easy ones first. I would totally go to a WDW radio meetup. I hear about them all the time on the podcast, and I've just never had a trip lined up with them. That said, I don't think I'd plan my trip around one, but if it if it was a coincidence, a happy coincidence, and they lined up, I would totally make the time to go. I'd love to meet Lou. Uh, he's a major inspiration in everything I do with the Disney stuff here on Rob Plays That Game, so I would love to be able to tell him about it and thank him for it for it and just uh being a really great role model uh my magic band would be blue if i had the choice or red uh maybe i'm a little biased those are rob plays that game and rob plays those game colors but uh, i really enjoy those colors and i think they're really vibrant in those magic bands so that's what i go for uh and on to your bigger question hidden mickey uh so okay to clarify walt was alive during the purchase of all the land and he was there during the groundbreaking, and so there were some initial plans as to, like, what's going to go where, and a little bit about, like, how the Magic Kingdom would be dealt with, and then he passed away, so, you know, he didn't have, he didn't get to see, you know, the Magic Kingdom finished, or any of the hotels finished, or pretty much anything finished, to be honest, uh, which is a shame. Now, let's assume that he passed away even earlier than that. Uh, this is a scary thought to think about, but to be 100% honest with you, and this is a total guess, we have no way of knowing, but I think if he had died earlier in the process, you just would never have seen a Disney World. Uh, and I believe when I was reading Reality Land by David Koenig, who you know writes about the creation of Disney World, uh, there was talk after him, his passing about just selling all of that land, writing it off as you know a loss, and then moving on. It was Roy Disney who was committed to making sure his little brother's dream you know came true, and and he postponed his retirement to oversee the first stages of uh, the Disney World project, which included you know the contemporary and the Magic Kingdom and, and things like that before he retired and then himself later passed away. So, you know, it's a scary thing to think about, but my honest answer is I think if he died earlier in that process, we just wouldn't see a Disney World. I think the Disney company, like if Roy had decided not to go along with this or he didn't find that there was enough of a, of a head start in the project to, to make it a reality, I think they might have just sold that land and focused on Disneyland and... and who knows where they would be today? You know, would they have been the massive company they are today? That's it's tough to tell. At that point, they would have just been Disneyland and the animated films and the live action films. And, you know, they could have been broken up and sold off in the 80s like they almost were before Michael Eisner took over and sort of saved it with Frank Wells. Um, let me I want to, this since this is a question that really involves a lot of guessing. I'd love to hear what you think would happen with Walt Disney World if that had happened. Or what maybe what would you think of Walt Disney World if he had lived to see it? Do you think it would have been any different than it is today? I'd love to hear your theories on it. Uh, and if you have a question you want me to answer here on the Q&A, all I have to do is leave it in the comments below. Uh, I try to get to as many as possible. As possible? It's like a possible hospital. Uh, if you want to follow me on the social networks, I'm at Rob Plays uh, Twitter and I'm Rob Plays That Game. Pospital is a word I need to get into my lexicon now. I love that word, pospital. Uh, if pospital, have a great weekend uh, and make the most out of whatever you do. Uh, it makes it that much better. I want to thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you next time for the next Minecraft Disney Q&A.